is going on everyone? My name is Wasabi and this is my AGS001 Game Boy Advance with IPS V2 brightness screen with the Easy Flash Omega Drive. As an added bonus, I've installed a Bluetooth chip to my Game Boy Advance. And I actually have a picture right here to show you what it looks like when it's on. Now this Bluetooth chip has the ability to not only connect to headphones but speakers as well. And I'll give you a live demonstration right here. To activate the brightness screen for the IPS V2 screen, you actually need to hold down select and press left to turn the brightness up and select and right to turn the brightness down. Now, as far as this interfering with the Bluetooth, I will say that I've had a few issues of the Bluetooth being disconnected, but if you hold select, the Bluetooth will reconnect with the headphones. Now, to get to the backside of the Game Boy Advance, you actually just need a tri-wing screwdriver as well as a Phillips head screwdriver, and I'll go ahead and actually show you that right now. Now before I open this up, I just want to show you this. This is a cutout for a USB-C port for a battery pack that I have modded in this Game Boy Advance as well. So when you remove that battery pack, there's actually a Phillips head screw that needs to be taken out in addition to the six tri-wing screws that follow on the border of the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> So once those screws are removed, you can then carefully remove the backside of the Game Boy Advance. Now, as you can see right here, I actually have the Bluetooth chip right above the volume wheel. And if you take a closer look at the photograph I took of the Bluetooth chip, you actually have a couple of points that need to be soldered to the chip. It looks like a lot, trust me, but it's really only four connection spots that need to be soldered to the Game Boy Advance itself and with all these different wires going around you want to make sure that you do have you know some kind of organization for the wires because it can get a little hectic with the IPS V2 screen installed as well as the Bluetooth chip installed so if you look at the way I have this organized it can give you a sense of how to organize these wires so it's not too crazy but overall, I would say that this install is relatively easy. You just need the bare minimum tools to get the job done. I'll be posting a video within the next few weeks showing you how to do this install. If you like any other videos or have any other recommendations for modifications for the Game Boy Advance, please let me know in the comment section below. That being said, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I thank you for watching my first video here at Barebone Mods. My name is Wasabi. I will catch you guys later. Peace.